Hey guys, this is Doug from fellowshipofthemartyrs.com. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we love you and we thank you. I ask that you would speak freedom on those that are captive. I ask that you would loose the, the bonds of oppression and break the yokes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to talk about World of Warcraft. There are those that I know whose job it is to pray for their city. Maybe it's their job to pray for their high school. Different parts of the body are assigned to different lands, to different spheres of influence or areas of responsibility or whatever. Some people, God calls them to pray for Hollywood. Some people, God pray, calls, to, calls them to pray for abortion or whatever. There are those that I know whose job description is to pray for um, video games. That those who are captive there would be freed. It's been on my radar for a while, <clears throat> but I'm feeling especially today to talk about World of Warcraft specifically. Um, I haven't played the game, but I've watched um, and talked to others, and it is supremely dangerous. It's not the most dangerous of all the video games that are out there, but it's real big thousands, millions, I don't know how many users, <clears throat> and it is spiritually very, very dangerous. If you are a Christian, you better be real sure that you heard God tell you to play that game. And he better, have, probably, he will have told you to go in there and crush stuff and plead the blood of Jesus over it, and pray for people that are praying, playing there, <clears throat> he will have probably told you to do something real active to rip it down from the inside out. But if God didn't tell you to be there, you are in a giant danger zone. There are all kinds of groups for addiction to video games and the internet, and even groups specifically for World of Warcraft. There's all kinds of psychological reasons why uh, you get instant feedback and you feel like you have control and you feel like you're somebody where at the middle school nobody knows your name or whatever. There's all kinds of psychological reasons that, that people point to to say why it's addictive. My take is completely different. It's full of demons. It's full of symbology. It's full of spells. There are times when the characters are speaking in a language that you may not understand, that you think is just some whatever that the designers made up. It's not. If you have the gift of interpretation of tongues, you might just be able to get the interpretation on those things, and they are demonic. And they are calling up demons and false gods. If you pay attention, sometimes you'll even hear a word like Ashtaroth where they're calling up Ashtaroth. Ashtaroth is in the Bible as a demon, as a false god. There are lots of other games where they train little kids how to cast spells, how to call up demons, how to have demons help them. If you're a parent and you're watching this, it's your house. It's your land. Clean it out. Get this demon-infested, rotten cesspool of Satan's little fingers out of your house. 
If that's too subtle, let me be clear. They are eating your children and you're letting them. Claim the blood of Jesus over them. Anoint the computer. Take control back. Take control back of your house. Rebuke it all out of your house in the name of Jesus and repent for having ever let it in in the first place. If you are addicted to it, turn it off. Ask the Lord to do whatever he has to do to you so that you're really good and repentant for ever having let that stuff in. You are to think on good things, holy things, pure things, clean things. I spent a lot of years of my life, a lot of hours, ignoring my family playing shoot 'em up games. It wasn't the role player, it wasn't the, you know, Diablo and World of Warcraft and some of these other things. But I like the sniper games where you just pull a trigger and something dies. I spent way too much of my life on that. Praise God, he burned it out of me. And burned the desire for it out of me. It's not entertainment. Unless you count entertaining demons as a good thing. Demons are real. Spirits are real. These games are indoctrination for your children into witchcraft. And God hates witchcraft. Hates witchcraft. If your children are addicted, if they're out of control, if they're getting angry and meaner and closing themselves off and getting more depressed, getting suicidal, whatever, please understand this is not a chemical disorder. These are demons. The only thing that really makes sense in explaining all of this is that it's spiritual. When you open doorways to lust, to addiction, to anger, to bitterness, to to stealing, to lying, to, to using witchcraft. You are inviting Satan to come and mess with you and create strongholds in you. And it will affect all different parts of your life. If you say you're a Christian, then act like Jesus. And ask yourself real carefully if Jesus would be playing that if that's how he wants you spending your time. I have no idea what this video will do. I have no idea what impact, but I know I'm riling up some big bad guys. But it needs saying, and I don't know who else. I haven't found anybody else that's saying it. You might even be a youth pastor having World of Warcraft parties to entertain the youth group so that they'll come to your church. Knock it off. Knock it off! That is not the cross. That is not holiness. They are not there to be entertained. They're there to change and be transformed and not look like the world. It is not okay. Harry Potter is not okay. This whole generation has been given over to demons. We need to get them free. We need to pray for them. We need to claim the blood of Jesus over them. We need to reclaim them. And if you have control over it, then you need to hit the off button. I pray it's not too late. I pray you will hear. Our email is on the website. Our phone number is on the website. If you're over your head, you can't find any other help, you call. We're here. Fellowshipofthemartyrs.com Email at fotm at fellowshipofthemartyrs.com More on this coming soon. In the name of Jesus.